this is part two of how to get rid of a deadbeat and the guys that Kanye West is giving a toast to. You know, the jerks, the a-holes, the douchebags. Well, here we go. I'm back. Um, oh, this is a continuation. Remember, don't don't forget, go support Tyler Perry with the new the new movie for color girls. Well, okay. Where we left off was um, there's nothing ladylike about letting you, um, being revealing with your clothes and letting everything hang out and everything. Well, remember, tight isn't always right. And so, ladies, you know what I'm talking about. Let's start buying our sizes, you know? And um, do, no, do, no, do not make scenes by being loud. Loud equals ghetto and crazy. Guys are not really, they don't like that. They like a girl that's laid back, who can handle her business, don't get me wrong, but isn't a problem causer. Like, that means that they're going to be scared of you. Like, every little thing is going to be nagging, nagging, nagging. They're going to be out of the house because you're always going to be screaming, talking about, who's that? Who's that from the phone? Da, da, da. Keep your cool, and they'll be right. They'll be good. But um, moving along. Head ties and scarves are not for outside. Not for outside. Sweats are for exercising. But if you want to play it off, if you want to wear sweats, play it off. Act like you are exercising, even if you're not. Put on some sneakers, a sweatband. Um, you know, just look the part. Don't throw on no, you know, some sweatpants and boots. We know you're not exercising. Throw sweatpants and sneakers. You know, something like that. Make it look like, you know, you're exercising. Um, get your eyes, your eyebrows done, please. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's. Nobody wants to look at Burton Ernie, you know, unless they're looking at Sesame, Sesame Street. Okay? Um, stop smoking. If you are, it's not cool. Like, guys don't want their girls to be smelling like tobacco, especially if they have kids. It's not cool at all. You got, uh, you, you might get cancer and stuff like that. You got the secondhand smoke going. Your clothes, your hair, they're kissing up on you. And nah, I know you don't want to be smelling your guy, and he got cigarettes, and it's just like, ooh, it's not a good fragrance to wear. Mm mm. No, it's not. Mm mm. Victoria's Secret do not sell tobaccos. You know, but anyway, so moving on. Um, never be available all the time. Like saying no is actually a good thing. He don't, you don't want him to call you and he's like, hey, what's up? And then you're like, yeah, I could. No, say no. Make up something if you don't got no place to go. Don't break your plans to be with him because in the long run, he'll start breaking the plans that you have with him to be with somebody else. So, let him keep guessing, like make him feel like, oh my God, her time is precious. I got to spend most of my time with her, you know, because I don't know when I'll be able to do it again. You know, think about it. Let's go. Um, believe me, these tips is not going to fool, you know, they're not going to be like, oh, I know that what they're talking about. Believe me, guys, if they can read this, they can listen to this and then it's right out the air because they're not sure if you're listening to it. So if you follow these, believe me. You'll you'll underst um, they'll understand. Um, if you don't have respect for yourselves, then why should he have respect for you? Come on, carry yourself like a lady. If you want him to wait, wait. You don't have to have sex on the first date, kiss him or whatever. Wait. Have him guessing. You know. Um, guess smart. Read the news. Get in tune with what's going on with the world. Right now, Haiti is going, oh, oh my God. I can't, I don't even want to talk about it because it's crazy. Um, there's a lot of things that guys want to talk to you about. If they can't talk to you, they're going to talk to somebody else. Especially if they need a female companion. Now you're going to be dealing with the whole best friend as a female. And now you're like, why does she get so much time and stuff like that? Then you get jealous. Why don't you become his best friend? Why don't you start knowing, um, getting yourself educated and um, be everything. That's what guys want. They want you to be everything. They want you to be their chef, their healer, their um, 
just everything. They want you to be everything. They're freaking the bad. They're lady in the sheets. They girl, the good girl to take home the mama. Everything. Um. So let's be all we can be, so we can be wifey. <laughs> I'm just saying with y'all, but y'all understand. Y'all get what I'm saying. Um, if he gets you mad, don't show any emotion. Just don't do it. Don't get all up in his face. Don't do it. He doesn't like that. You don't need to look like that and be all possessive and stuff like that. When you stop caring or act like you stop caring, he'll start caring. Believe me. Um, if he's creeping, please, ladies. Um, you you got me. I'm I'm. Don't call the other girl. Don't look through his clothes and try to find a number. And then you see the number, you're gonna call the number. Listen, if you think he's che cheating, like Madea says, then he is. Okay. And if he's worth it, then you fight for it, but not fight the other girl. He's the one in the relationship with you, not her. So it's not her problem. It's yours. Okay. And you don't want the other girl to be knowing what's going on with, oh, my God, you tripping. And then she's going to call him like, yo, your girl called me. And then he's going to get mad at you. You know, let her call you and he get mad at her. Then now he got beef with you because of her. So now you got the upper hand. Feel me, ladies? All right. Now, believe me, trying these simple steps will get you a good man. And if he wasn't before, he will be now. Because the minute he starts thinking that another man is interested, he'll shape up, believe me, if you want him back. Follow these and you're sure to get him to put it in a love song, like Alicia and B. Or just put a ring on it, like B. Question of the day. Is a bad relationship better than being alone? Let's think about it, ladies. Um, you can do bad all by yourself. Um, as I close the show, I would like to leave my Barbie Land residence with finding love is hard enough. So make it easier by loving yourself first. Everything else will follow. Until next time, stay blessed and Barbie beautiful. Remember, everybody needs someone to love. Why not love yourself? Bye. Yeah, it's been nice. It's been it's been peaceful. It's been a blessing. See you next Friday. Bye. I know I'm taking a lot, but you know I'm going to go now. Stay blessed and keep hating in your dreams and prayers. Thanks. Haitian Barbie is out.